It's time to see how the markets are shaping up this morning. Let's take a look at those charts, starting off with SPY, QQQ, IWM, NVIDIA, Bitcoin. And then I have a treat for you at the end of this one. One special technical that I think is going to be very bright for September. By the way, NVIDIA earnings are coming up on Wednesday in the after hours. My NVIDIA stock price prediction and NVIDIA earnings projection are available. If you go to my channel and look at for the thumbnail that says trillions on it with NVIDIA stock price prediction in the title, that one is it's 30 minutes, but it's dense. You should check it out. There is a lot that's in there talking about what could possibly come for their earnings. So let's get into the charts on this one. So what we have here that we're looking at is SPY. And I got a zoomed in view of this. So where are we at in the pre-market hours at 560? And we closed yesterday at 560.79. So we're pretty much even worth where we're at before. We want to stay above this yellow line. We really, really, really want to find the floor here to see if we can push through this ceiling that we got rejected at three times now. So RSI still above 50. We still got that momentum. It is starting to tick downward, but not putting in a lower momentum than what we had before. That's down here on this bottom chart that you can see. So still in good shape. We still can have that bullish lean that's out there. August coming to a close. September is coming up for us though. And those jobs numbers lead off September. So that can uh, really, and we also have geopolitical risks out there. So there's there could be any number of catalysts. We This is sort of a Jenga tower right now that we're still kind of adding to the top of it. But the, in my opinion, it's starting to wobble a little bit. So I'm cautious on this. Definitely not in leverage. Large cash, cash position going into the markets, especially into September right now. And still keeping a hold of my long positions. Don't plan on touching them for a very long time. So what I do plan to do is keep on track in the markets, take out options plays where I find them. I do report them over at the Discord available through the Patreon. That link is down in the description. And if you guys want to learn about this technical analysis and get an awesome technical analysis trading strategy called the Bread Recipe through Stockmo Academy, that link is also down in the description. Just make sure you use code word doctor when you sign up. It's going to give you a massive discount on that course. Let's get into the cues. So for the cues, what are we looking at here? Well, we need to stay up above this green area that I said to watch for support. And right now, sitting on top of this white line that we have right here, pre-market hours, 475. So we need to push up above. Honestly, 483 has been a tough number to break. It'd be nice to see up above 487 because if we do get up above that, we have that free float to 500. NVIDIA earnings, like I said in yesterday's video, that's still going to be the big old question mark. We could continue chopping sideways until then. We could possibly even soften a little bit. We're going to have to see. Uh, IWM, we are sitting still on top of support where we're at right now. We got rejected off of two different uh, Fibonacci extension levels of about 221 to 222. Uh, and so that rejection, we do need to push up above that. It's okay if we rest for a little while after that. We don't want to see it retrace too deeply, uh, too far into this support area, uh, even though it can. We can cer certainly give up a little bit. That's what, that's what right here, my goodness, words are hard this morning. That's what we see right here. And uh, if we find that support and head back upward, we still have the bullish RSI going on on this. And you guys can see the price targets that I have on here if we're able to float up from here. News of things that are going to confirm the Goldilocks soft landing scenario are typically going to be good for us. Anything signaling recession during Fed rate cuts going to be downward pressure for us. IWM is probably going to suffer the most under that circumstance. Let's move on. NVIDIA chopping sideways pre-market still about where it closed at yesterday, but we're still in this resistance area and we still have this trend line that's here as well. We could honestly ride along that or stay in here up until earnings. I think we had some people uh, leaving the market, de-risking, if you will, on NVIDIA leading up to their earnings as it can be a coin flip. So today and tomorrow, I expect still probably a decent amount of volatility. My range is still anywhere from 120 to 133. It's a wide range from where we're at right now because, well, it is leading up to earnings. We are getting that coin flip. As a matter of fact, we're about in the middle of that price that I've been saying for a while now of 120 to 133. So uh, about $6.50 either way. As a matter of fact, this could be about where we go into it. We'll happen to find out. It gives that coin flip. And I said, I wonder where it would be, gave my range. And so far, it's panning out that way. If we stay in here, if we continue to chop, we're going to have to see if we break out of the top of this following earnings. That could be wildly bullish for us, especially because this is a bit bear, I'm sorry, my bull flaggy looking. So keep an eye on that. Uh, Bitcoin. Bitcoin, Bitcoin. Whoa, that's crazy. Let's get into the daily chart here so we can actually see something uh, worthwhile to look at. You can see we're in the support area right now. We're above the moving averages. We're starting to dangle off the five period EMA. If the RSI crosses down below 50 on the daily chart, that can push us down towards support. We have really strong support down here 
at about 61.5. So I'm going to be looking for that and uh, hopefully taking that bounce off of this. You can see the selling pressure that we got in around 63.919, my price target two. We had price target one, we had price target two. We fell short of that price target three. Now we're starting to look for where that floor is and it can literally be anywhere that's in here. As a matter of fact, I'm going to take this because I like that support that's down here so much. I think that we can include that in the support area as well. Now for that treat that I told you about, if I go to the end of this thing, TMF, check this thing out. We're looking at the monthly chart here. The RSI is coming off of this oversold territory that you have, and we are starting to move upward. As a matter of fact, the momentum, this is so important. Let me actually expand this so you can see it. Look at that. We're starting to get volume increases here. The momentum is actually rising above. It's as high as it's been since going all the way back to March of 2022. So seeing that momentum increase on such a long time scale, we could be pushing up through these resistances that you see up to the top side of this. And guys, I have shared this already over at my Discord. So if you guys want to see these price targets before they hit YouTube, which you have to wait for, uh, they are available right now over at the Discord. That link's down in the description. So what else do we see when we look at this chart? Well, look at this. We have the lowest bottom here, and there's a higher bottom that's right there. As a matter of fact, we could even consider this potentially like an inverse head and shoulders that would have a slanted neckline, which we'd already be above. If we drill down to the weekly chart on this, by the way, the RSI is already in bullish territory, and we're putting pressure up against that resistance. And we're finding that support as we're kind of climbing out of the hole on TMF. And if September does get rough for the markets, well, the bond market could stand as a beneficiary, especially if we start to see things that signal recession. This could be that nice hedge that you would have. Now, it is highly risky. It's a triple leverage of the 20-year treasury. And uh, so that can, be, that can be pretty troublesome, at least for long-term holds. But if you do see it continue taking higher, and it can, right here's the daily RSI that we're looking at still bullish. So we have climbing on the monthly chart. We have bullish on the weekly chart, bullish on the daily chart. And we also have a higher low finally put in and we retested resist I retested resistance here, came down, couldn't make it down to that support, broke back through. Now we're heading towards retesting that resistance at my price target number one at 62, then 67, 77. I think if we do take that ride, it's going to be a wild ride. If we make it up to 77, we have this free rise area that's up in here. And if things really go crazy, we actually have a free rise up in that up until about 90. So if there's a price target for that I put on here, which I start think starts to get really chaotic and the farther out we go, uh, 90 would be one of those other prices that I would put on there. So guys, thank you very much for watching this. Like I said, if you want to see my buys and sells, see my technicals before they hit YouTube, you can check them out using that link down in the description for the Patreon. Jump on over to the Discord, check out the technicals on Watch channel. You can also see my buy alerts channel to see what I'm buying and selling as well. And then if you guys want to learn to do technical analysis trading like I do and really empower your portfolio through technical analysis trading, there's also that link down in the description for that uh, Stockmo Academy course. Click on it, sign up, use the code word doctor when you do for that discount. Thanks guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. I am Dr. Stock, doctor of education. Remember my friends that learning is earning and we'll see you in the next video.